What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a normal gem technician ambipom team for ranked regulation age. Now, how this combo works right here is you're going to want to pair up ambipom alongside with Florges. You can fake out with ambipom triggering its normal gem and getting a first turn flinch. And after that item's used, Florges Symbiosis ability will then pass on the loaded dice item to ambipom, allowing this Pokemon to do big time damage and use fury swipes a lot of times with technician stab and the normal terror type this pokemon goes absolutely nuke there so i'm super excited to be showcasing this combo cannot wait to use this pokemon considering i absolutely love ambipom now this team also features another combo similar to that if you look at the torterra it's got rock terra alongside with the weakness policy so we can go into torterra with florges petal blizzard into our rock terra torterra proc that weakness policy pass off the loaded dice just like we do with ambipom and then use bullet seed and rock blast as many times as we can like i said two different combos with forges both working very well trying to just focus up on ambipom because that's the pokemon i want to showcase today so let's talk about that one a little bit more it's got technician normal gem protect triple axle fury swipes and fake out with that normal terror type like i already mentioned i already talked about torterra i already talked about forges final three pokemon gonna be gyarados volcarona and metagross three very strong pokemon Gyarados, really good with Intimidate, Volcarona, great with Flame Body and Rage Powder, and then Metagross, being able to take out screens with Psychic Fangs, and do big time damage with stab moves such as Meteor Mash and Bullet Punch. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Mental Code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it, and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Ambipom team. First match coming at you guys, and I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Cisco Moo. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use. But we're going up against a pretty deadly Garchomp and T-Tar combo with Incineroar, Kilowattro, Earth Eater, Earthworm, or Orthworm, however you pronounce it. And then they got uh, Gengar S or Final Pokemon. So not going to lie, I really want to get things started with Ambipom. I just like this Pokemon. It's got triple axe, so it's got a few different moves that can actually do some nice damage. So I'm going to go in with Ambipom. I'm going to go in with the floor just to just double down with this combo. They could intimidate me turn one, which could be rather annoying, and maybe I might want to swap into like, I don't know, maybe Gyarados, but just faking out and getting that item turn one could be good for us. So I'm going to go Gyarados in the back end, and last but not least, either Metagross or Volcarona here. I just feel like both these Pokemon are pretty solid. Um... They got rock types, they got ground types. Who do I want to play here? What's your terror types, guys? What you, what you got? What you got with the terror types? Metagross and Volcrona. They got water. That's actually really good for this matchup here. We might want to go in with that. Water, and we got grass. They're both actually really good here. Hmm. What's the play call here? I think I'm going to end up going into... Oh, man. Real tough. I think we're gonna end up going into Metagross here. Actually, nah, Volcarona Skull. Actually, nah. We're gonna go Volcarona. This is actually tough. Maybe should I want Metagross? I don't know. <laughs> I was kind of torn between both of them. But I like our lead here. Hopefully, we get this video started off hot. Just gonna let you guys know that we're using a odd team today. Definitely an off-meta team. So a 1-2 losing record would actually be a successful day. Let's be honest here. Whenever I use these weird teams, they're always tough to grab wins with. So we're gonna try to get things started off hot here. But as soon as Kilowattro comes out here, um, Ambipom should fake out, or should outspeed, so I should be able to fake out early on here. They could set up a Tailwind if they want to. Intimidate going to be a little annoying. And they could have competitive on Kilowattro, so... What do I want to do here? I definitely want to fake out. I definitely want to fake out, and I think I'm just going to Moonblast here. Into the Kilowattro slot. I think that's just a simple call for me. So Kilowattro's going to end up protecting. That's totally fine. We get off a free pass of this... What's it called? We get to pass this loaded dice off for free. The so fake out gonna do decent damage with the normal gem. Rocky helmet also fights us back a little bit. And now we're sitting here with the loaded dice with Amipom, which is great news. So Moonblast gonna get blocked. That's fine by me. Um I could go in the triple axle here. And look to just KO. I could. Or I can just go in the Fury Swipes with Technician. It's gonna get boosted. Actually, it's not Technician, but it works fine. Actually, yes, it is. Space Power 18. I was looking at the accuracy. I was like, wait a minute. Is this Space Power 80? So this will get boosted pretty well. I could attack you. I could just go for a Triple Axle and attack you. I could double down, but I'm thinking I'm just going Fury Swipes here. Chipping up damage into Incineroar and then launching this Moon Blast. I could also Helping Hand, but I'm going to go Moon Blast here. The Tailwind does fly. Incineroar, what you got cooking here? Fury Swipe still outspeeding. That's great news. 
And Sinor dodged it. Great, great news. Just what I wanted. He's going to be able to party shot out of here. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. You were able. We, you dodged this move. Dodge of Fury Swipes. How often do you see Fury Swipes in ranked battles? That's my first time ever using it, and I missed it. Lovely. So Garchomp comes out here. I wish we would have moved by a sad slot. I got Triple Axle, which is really good. Triple Axle can do some damage, and we get a crit there, which is huge. That is huge. And a special attack drop. Not really, because now you're boosted on special attack. Hate this game. Um, if I can, Triple Axle is going to be the play. Um, I could swap and give him a competitive boost again. But I'm thinking of just protecting here. I got Bullet Punch. Actually, no. Did I go Volcarona? I did. Bullet Punch would have been so nice right now. But I'm just going to end up just uh, protecting my Volcarona here and hopefully landing this Triple Axle. He's probably just going to go for an EQ. Let's see what you got, Kilowattro. Discharge going to fly. Discharge EQ kind of combo. All right. Ambipom. I doubt you outspeed, but it would be very nice. The Discharge launches. How much damage is doing to Ambipom? Bring this down to 30, and I get paralyzed, man. And I get paralyzed. EQ's gonna also launch. No, he goes for Poison Jab. Yo, Ambipom, do not be paralyzed here. Take out this Garchomp, and we can get rolling with this match. Let's go. That's huge. That is huge. That is huge, Ambipom. That is huge, Ambipom. Just what I wanted from you. So, Ambipom picking up a big-time KO on the Garchomp. They got Incineroar, who I'm kind of hoping they go back into. Um, I might want to swap Ambipom just so we have Fake Out later. But, slight issue. We're gonna go into Earthworm. Earthworm comes out here. They still have Terra. We still have Terra, which is good news. Um, I think swapping Ambipom uh, into Gyarados or Volcarona is kind of tough. What's your Terra type? Flying, your Grass. We just let Ambipom die out here. I think so. Honestly, I think so. I think we just let Ambipom die out here. Kilowattro could protect, but we're gonna double down into the slot. We're gonna make sure that this slot dies out. We're doubling down here. Out comes a Discharge. He's going to end up dealing a little bit of damage into his Earthworm. And of course, getting another Paralyze on me. What is going on here? It's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. Ambipom does some work there. Dies out. Heavy Slam going to launch. Can we soak this? I don't know. We do. That's beautiful. Four just KO this thing. Thank you. I was going to say, if I'm paralyzed here, that'd be tough news. All right. So, Kilowatts are gone. Ambipom did some work. Incineroar is going to come out here. Um... Intimidate probably apply because they're gonna intimidate us. So I'd like to intimidate them. So we'll go intimidate for intimidate. Um I like our Volcarona. And from here, probably gonna fake out the characters, right? I don't mind the intimidate for intimidate. Actually, I probably should have went the Volcarona first and then just swap floor just to get the intimidate off. But I mean this works fine. This works fine. Intimidate for intimidate. Kinda cancel each other out. But from here, simple protect because I do not want to be faked out. And if I can land a Moonblast, do a little bit of damage before Floor just goes out, I would like that. So, protect on the Gyarados. Terra's still on the field. Like, you could both Terrasalize here. Fake Out's going to launch into Gyarados slot. He's going to Terrasalize that. That what's called? He is... Oh, no. I mean, I got I got full Corona, but still. What Terra type could you go into? What terror type could he go into? And we keep our forges, which is great. Iron Defense gonna bulk him up. Um, that is looking terrifying. Could D dance. I'm gonna waterfall here. I kind of want to force a. Uh, I'm gonna go helping hand waterfall. I kind of want to force a uh, a terror on the Incineroar slot because Heat Wave could just dump on this Earthworm no problem. But we'll see who they want to thrash. If this is Incineroar, I would like it much more than Earthworm. And it is gonna be Incineroar in the grass water. What you got? Ghost. I don't mind Ghost. I don't mind Ghost here. Way better than Grass or Water. Way better. So Ghost Terror Incineroar comes out here. We're going to get a nice little Helping Hand boost into our Waterfall. I know we're minus one, but damage should still be rather decent. We do outspeed, which is great news. And we're almost KOing. Almost KOing. Rocky Helmet does a little bit of damage to us. And he's going to go for a Heavy Slam to finish off Forges. That's perfectly fine. I kind of wanted you to take out Forges like an hour ago. <laughs> okay, so... Good news here is Volcarona, we still have it. They don't know that we still have Volcarona. And even better news is they can't Thrasalize Earthworm, who's boosted on defense. So that's great news for us to just pop a Fiery Dance in that slot. Um, we could also Waterfall. I think Waterfall should be able to finish off Gyarados. I really hope so, right? I do really hope so. So yeah, I'm going to go for Waterfall. Hopefully this finishes that Pokemon off. And then I should just be able to go for Fiery Dance. Rip up some damage. 
Let's do it. Let's do it. So waterfall for the KO. Let's go. That's a big time KO, Gary the Gyarados. That's a big time KO from a big time Pokemon. Later, Incineroar. Get on out of here. So, so Incineroar's gone. I think we got this one pretty much wrapped up. Fiery Dance going to launch here. Picking up the KO for the win. For the win. For the win. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. One to get this video started. Hot start with Ambipom. So far, so good. Ambipom getting work done in match number one. Do we try to Torterra side of things this matchup? Not gonna lie, it's not bad with Bullet Seed. They got a few Pokemon that are weak to Bullet Seed. We also have Rock Blast to deal with that Tauros. I don't mind it. I don't mind. The only problem is no weather control. That can get a little ugly. But to be honest, I think actually Ambipom might just be a little bit better here. I might go back into Ambipom combo. The problem would be like the Sandstorm combo, which could do me a little dirty. But you know what? Let's give Torterra a roll here. We'll use Ambipom in the third and final match. So we use Ambipom in the first match. I would like to use it again and actually land like a Fury Swipes. But we're going to give the Torterra side of things uh, the call here. I like Gyarados for Intimidate. I think Intimidate works well. And instead of uh, Volcarona of this game, I think Metagross works a little bit better, being super effective into the Lycanroc, the Titar, the Sylveon, and the and the Ninetales. So they could get off a of Roar Veil. They could just go straight in the Sand Squad. A few different options here for that. But again, we're sitting 1-0. Good start for us. Like I said, if we go 1-2, and two, I would be happy with this because this is like an off-meta weird fun team. But we have a shot at going for a winning record now. So let's get ourselves a winning record. Let's do it. So let's see if they end up bleeding. I think it's going to be Sandstorm combo. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Sandstorm combo comes out here. Um, good weakness policy boost. Bullet seed dislike and knockdown. Um, I'm trying to think of what they would do here. I'm definitely going to go into Rock Terra. But yeah, we're gonna go Petal Blizzard here. Just send it all around. We're gonna Terrastalize this bad boy, and then I'm just gonna Bullet Seed and finish off this Lycanroc. Because Lycanroc poses more of a threat than Titar. We're gonna see a Terra type pop out from him. This is probably Flying Terra Titar? Yeah. Flying Terra Titar. Are you going for Terra Blast? Is the real question. That's, getting, that's a little scary because I'm popping my own weakness policy. But luckily, I'm going into Rock Terra. Yeah, you're not expecting the Rock Terra, baby. You're not expecting the Rock Terra. The Rock Terra on the T-Tar. That's what's so fun about playing these like weird teams. It's like a lot of people don't expect what you're doing. Whereas like when you're using a meta team, they kind of know what you're doing. It's just hard to play around it. But out comes Rock Slide. Do not flinch. None of you guys should flinch. I'd be very upset. Oh my lord. I wanna... Oh my lord, I want to punch like a rock in the teeth right now. I want to punch him in the teeth. Bullet Seed, how much damage are you doing right now? Oh my lord. Don't do me like that, man. Don't do me like that. Do not. That is ugly. That is real ugly. To do me like that. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm going to actually go for a Rock Smash. Or a Rock Blast now. Do I go for Rock Blast now? I mean, I got Gyarados. I'd rather get rid of Lycanroc. Like, Lycanroc's just a problem. Two flinches on Rock Slizzle. Close combat gonna fly, and this is just. Oh my lord, dude. That is ugly. That is ugly. Two. Two. One I could have dealt with. But two? Come on, guys. Come on with that. So down goes my lovely little Terra. And my lovely little. My lovely little Tour Terra. Terra Blast gonna fly here, and we're gonna have to. I can't deal with this hard way. Are you dead here, Florges? You should survive. Yeah, okay, cool. So Florges survives. Um, do we go into Gyarados or Metagross? Gyarados or Metagross? Gyarados would intimidate could be good. I'm trying to think of what moves they could add. The rock slide's looking a little ugly. Um I'm gonna go Metagross here. Metagross gonna pop. Um, I could just go for Bullet Punch, which is kind of really what I want to do in the Lycan Rock and hope he doesn't protect. But I think he's gonna protect, to be honest with you guys. I really do think Lycan Rock protects here. So you know what? I'm gonna go Helping Hand, and I'm gonna rip a Rock Slide. That's gonna be my play. I think there is a chance that you protect Lycan Rock, and you don't. That's fine. I mean, Helping Hand Rock Slide can still do some nice damage. Maybe even KO. Endure comes out here. See, he wants to go for Endeavor. That's really his play. But I have Bullet Punch, which is great news. This was so good call for us. Rock Slide flies here. Brings like a de rock down the one. Can we get a flinch on the T-Tar? No, never. Not us. Not us. Never us. Never us. 
So he's endured. He's looking to go for Endeavor and bring my Pokemon down to low HP. Um, body press, or well not body press, bullet punch is definitely our play right now. Um, but yeah, rough start with that Torterra and a double flinch. We're trying to make up some ground here, people. We're trying to make up some ground. Intimidate, working great. And from here, again, I could, I could go for a D-Dance. But I think I'd rather just rip a Waterfall. And, but I don't think Waterfall's gonna KO. I'm just gonna protect you, Gyarados. Let's be honest here. I'm just gonna protect you, bullet punch down this slot. This rock slide is looking terrifying. I don't have Terror type either. Even though Terror type wouldn't really help out my Gyarados, it's flying Terror. Let's see. It doesn't seem like they have Protect. It seems like Indoor, Rock Slide, Endeavor, and Close Combat. That seems like the move set for the Slicking Rock. So Protect's gonna come out from Gyarados. We're just gonna slow it down, turn because I don't think Waterfall can KO this uh, T Tar just yet. Bull Punch gonna launch. It's gonna get rid of the Lycanroc, Rock, which is beautiful news. Maybe next turn I could double down into this t tar and just make sure it goes. And there's the rock slide. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. The rock slide Metagross should soak really well. Amazingly well. And Buffett's gonna fly around onto everybody except for Metagross. Okay. Oh, man. Doing this with two Pokemon's real rough. Now, Waterfall. Can you KO this t tar from here? Maybe. Maybe. I hope so. I'm like contemplating whether I should like double down into this T Tar slot. I know it doesn't have protect because I know it's assault vested. Tauros is gonna come out here, and this is where things get real scary. Tauros is gonna hit that. Be able to hit Metagross really hard. And he also has Intimidate, which really sucks. There's a chance you protect. I'm gonna do this. You know what? I'm gonna hope Rock Slide can KO. I'm gonna go Waterfall in this slot. And on top of that, I'm gonna go for Rock Slide across the board. It's just getting real scary. Raging Bull can do some damage. Waterfall's gonna go first. Give me a flinch with that. Give me a flinch with that. Oh, we actually outspeed. That's huge. Give me a flinch on the Tauros. We got two chances at a flinch here. We got two chances at a flinch here. We got Waterfall flinch chance, which I believe is like 10%, and then Rock Slide. I don't really know the percent, but it's definitely higher than the other one. And of course not. We never get anything. We don't get anything. No flinches, no nothing. So Gyarados sitting here burned. Really just out of the picture. Intimidated and burned. So he's looking real tough. Especially if Taurus is going to burn us too. How can I find ways around this to maybe win this game? Because Ninetales is going to come out here. I got Steel Moves. You don't got Terra. I think I'm just going to start D-dancing up on Gyarados. I think that's got to be my play. I think I gotta get some attack power here. So I'm gonna D-Dance. And I'm just gonna go for a medium match. Because we know we outspeed. Well, we outspeed everybody except for the Ninetales. We outspeed the Taurus. That's what I should have said. I'm gonna Dragon Dance here. Actually, you're outspeeding, which is kind of crazy to me. We outspeed you. There's no way Metagross outspeeds Ninetales. Yeah, no, it doesn't. And a War Bell gets popped. And so, we're kind of just looking to slowly just like D-Dance up. Metagross should be able to hit rather hard with this Meteor Mash. Yeah, and it one-taps it. Four times super effective. Get on out my face, and I get an attack boost. Come on, now. We're still here. We're still here. We're still here. Rage Bull flies. Soak this up. Okay, I see you. I love you. I love you. I needed that. I need that. That might have just won us the game. Let's soak there. But let's see how much damage our waterfall can do now that we're even on attack board. We're still burned. Uh, we're going to go for a second fangs. And this should just finish off game. Plus one attack. We outspeed. Game set match. Game set match with Psychic Fangs? I think it is. And we take out a War Bell at the same time. Wow. Can't believe we end up winning that match, but Gyarados Metagross just clutching this one up. We're sitting 2-0. Moving on to our third and final match, and I'm surprised. We're sitting 2-0. I would love to grab ourselves a 3-0 perfect record. We're going to lead Ambipom and Forge this year, trying to showcase this combo one last time before we probably never use this combo again in Scarlet and Violet. They got Slacking. They got Galarian Weezing alongside with... Incineroar, Meowstic, and Colossal. And Hisuian type evolution. But Colossal combo, somebody's got a water move. I'm thinking it's Meowstic. Somebody can hit this thing and pop Steam Engine in with this policy. That could be a little scary. I do like our lead, however. So that's what we're going to rock out with. Um, the slacking and the uh, and the wheezing kind of screws a few things over with the combo. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope that they just don't lead it, right? Metagross coming to back end and then Gyarados. I like it. 
I'm all about it. So same squad as the last one. Again, we're sitting 2-0. Really hoping we get this 3-0 perfect record. I even said it in the beginning. I said 1 and 2 would be great. But honestly, 3-0 would be amazing. If I go 3-0 today, that'd be very dope. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. If you guys are enjoying the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed already. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for the support. But they're going to end up leading Typhlosion and Colossal. So I can fake out the Colossal here. I can get that Symbiosis pop, which is pretty solid for me. But honestly, I mean, Rock type. Fire type. Looking kind of scary. I still want to go for that fake out here. And I mean, at this point, we could just rock a Petal Blizzard or even a Moon Blast, but both of them are just not good here. They're just not good. I mean, I might as well go for a special attack drop. This is just not good, this combo right here. Fake out's going to fly here. Normal Gemin. We're normal Gemin. Now, do you have a water move here, Mr. Guy? Does Mr. Guy have a water move? No, he's just Lava Pluming. Which does decent damage. Oh, and that pops Steam Engine too. And he's got a berry. Alright, this this is gonna get ugly. Did I flinch? Oh no, he flinched. I was gonna say, was that me? Give me a special attack drop. No, never. Alright. Um Let's see how much damage Fury Swipes can do to this thing. Maybe he terrestrializes. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna go for a helping hand. Let's see how much damage we can do with this. We're kind of just like having fun at this match. Like our matchup sucks right now. <laughs> this lead is terrible. So I do that, and he's end up out speeding lava. Pum gonna go, and you're actually gonna outspeed Ami Palm. We're not even gonna be able to use it here. I mean, he goes for Iron Defense. Oh, we are so screwed. This match is over. This match is over. Fury swipes gonna launch. Don't tell me I missed another one. Yo, Fury swipes. What is up with Fury Swipes today? That's 0 for 2. That's 0 for 2, and this is just, this is bad news, man. This is real bad news. This is real bad news. I don't even know what to do. Do we go for Petal Blizzard? Screw it. Let's just kill our own, our own Ami Palm. I mean, he was dead regardless. So there's that. This thing's stats is nuclear. They get a burn, too. We're just going to hope that we don't get swept in this matchup. To be honest, guys. That's kind of where I'm sitting at. I'm hoping I don't get swept. Iron Defense is going to bulk this thing up even more. This is just ugly. This is ugly. We're, we're, we're done. We're done here. We're done. So dead. And we just did negative five damage. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. What do I even do here? What do I even do here? I guess I gotta go into you? And go into water tower? Yeah, that's, that's, that's our best bet. That's our best bet. Go into Metagross. We're gonna hit this water tower button. And then we just rip a rock slide, I guess. Yeah, we'll rip a rock slide. I guess we'll go for helping hand. That's that's the best we could do. That's the best we could do. This match is over. I know I lost this one already. We're just hoping we don't get swept because that's one of the rules on my channel. Two rules. We got two rules on the channel, if you don't know. We don't go 0-3, which we already checked off the list because we're 2-0. And, and we do not get swept. So we're going to hope that we don't get swept here because if not, I got to delete my channel. Got to delete the channel if so. So I go for the helping hand combo here. Lava Plume's gonna launch. Bye bye, Florges. Florges survives. And what are you going for here, Mr. Guy? Iron Defense again. Go ahead, bulk up plus six. Your, the, the, like, I don't like. I already know we lost this one. Rock Slide flies. We don't get swept. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this match was terrible for us. Once I kind of seen the lead, I was just like, oh no. I looked at the typings. I was just like, oh man, this is gonna be rough. It's gonna be real rough. But hey, at least I got to showcase uh, both the combos in match number one and match number two. But I end up going into Miasic. Who could fake me out? No problem. Um, I can't even... I can't even do much here. I mean, you are bulked up on defense. We're kind of just hoping for a crit. And I guess I'll go for a helping hand. Or I'll go for a Moon Blast if I can land it. Into Miasic. He ends up just protecting here. So protect from him. Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I'm so screwed here. I'm so screwed here. Hold up. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> Critical hit. Burn's going to chip up. Yo, these stats are nuclear. Psych up Meowstic? Yeah, chill on me. <sighs> oh, my Lord. Chill. Chill. 
Chill. Chill. Only way we, we, we do anything is if Meteor or Bullet Punch gets a crit. So screw it. I'm going to go for Meteor Mat or Bullet Punch for a crit. Baton Pass. All their Pokemon are plus six on defense and speed. Wow. Round of applause to this guy. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to this trainer here. Round of applause. Round of applause for this, this move right here. Round of applause all day long. All day long. I'm, I'm going to run this one, but... Told you guys we don't get swept. Round of applause here. That just did... Dude, that looked like it gave him HP. Metagross Soak, so that's pretty cool. Moonblast Crit again? No. Wow, and Leftovers. And the Lefty, Joe. You have this. Opponent, great match. Great combo. Great execution. We're going to run this match. We got 2-1 for today's video. We don't get swept in turn of final match. I'll call that a successful day. So guys, 2-1 for today's video. We grab ourselves a winning record. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this fun team. Ambi Palm with Forges in match number one. Then we went to Terra and Forges in match number two, which didn't really work out too well, considering we got flinched. But hey, awkwardly winning two games, I'll take it all day. This team was a lot of fun. Like I said, huge shout out to Cisco Mew for making this team and making it a rental code. If you guys want to check out the PokePace, link will be down in the description below to his channel. Go find the PokePace over on his video just to, you know, show him some support. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.